So the next step for doing the sand dome is to figure out the height of it. So what I'm doing is find the middle point to the nearest edge and you can imagine that that, that will be about this high. And I'm going to add a few inches to that so it'll go straight up a little before it starts to curve. So let me show you how this is done. So I like to use a measuring stick, place it in the center of the oven, and this point will be at the very top apex of the interior of the oven. So this will help me guide the curvature of the walls to this point from all sides. So now that I have the sand form in the rough shape that I want it, I'm doing some fine tuning by doing this smoothing technique. Take a little bit of sand in my hand, start at the bottom, and go up slowly applying a slight amount of pressure inwards as I go. So this is looking good. I've finished the fine smoothing for the sand form and I'm ready to move on to the next level. It's really critical to make sure that it's as smooth as you can possibly get it. Any irregularities or dips or bumps will cause weakness in the structural integrity of the clay uh, mud dome that's going to go on top of this. So I'm going to remove our measuring stick. and put some newspaper on top so we know where to stop digging when we're removing the sand form.